Welcome to WSBI, your resource for success podcast program, where you get to meet inspiring women-owned businesses from across the country. And now, for your host, Kimberly McLemore. All right. Hello, hello, and welcome to another great evening. This is WSBI, your resource for success podcast program. I am your host, Kimberly McLemore. And of course, tonight we have a special edition podcast. So you're going to be spending moments with Lady K and Mr. T. That's right. So we have some great things we're going to be talking about this evening. So welcome, Mr. T. Oh, thank you, Lady K. Welcome to you as well. So good to see you. Always a pleasure to see you. Uh, before we get things rocking and rolling, you know, we got, of course, we'll be talking about a great topic this evening. And before we get up in that, the other things we'll talk a little bit about is a little bit of spring fashion tips because spring is here, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. And then, of course, we're going to talk about some upcoming events that we both want to share. And so I'm real excited about that. But before we actually get started, why don't you tell our listeners and our audience this evening a little bit about yourself? Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> it is my pleasure. It is my pleasure. <laughs> All right. Well, my name is Tarek. Uh, you guys know me fondly as Mr. T. Uh, I'm also the owner and operator, founder of Move With T, uh, my fitness brand, which is located right here in the heart of the DMV. For those of, uh, those of you who don't know, that's uh, District of Columbia, Maryland, and Virginia. And we're housed right here. And so... Uh, my motto is be happy, be healthy, and be loved. I'm going to do my be happy, be healthy with the muscles, <laughs> and then be loved. So, um, um, and, and I say it in Spanish. I say it in Spanish, too. So, um, see, now I can't remember it in Spanish. Oh, sí. Se feliz, se salud, se amor. So, uh, there we are. I'm working on my, on my Espanol. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, other than that, um, I'm here in the DMV doing some wonderful things. I am a writing contributor for the Z Beat, which is a local fitness. Um, I can't say, say local because we're actually online. It's a fitness blog that you can find at thezbeat.com. And I am a contributor. I contribute for, with um, a monthly motivational message, as well as uh, a new music column that will be coming our way very, very soon. And uh, what else I got going on? I have something really, really awesome coming up. Ah, I'm going to be featured mm -hmm. in a magazine article as well. Thank you, Lady K. Wow. So, uh -huh. Feeling good about that. And mm -hmm. I'm trying to think, what else is there? I'm a doggy daddy to a wonderful pooch named Pepper. I would show you guys what he looks like. But um, he hasn't had his hair cut. He's going tomorrow for his cut. And he's going to go see his girlfriend, <laughs> Chloe. Oh, um, yeah, know, yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we have to talk about that later. You get my permission, mm. right? Well, you know, the dog, room, the, the dog room has a little chihuahua, she's a long haired chihuahua. Mm -hmm. So, um, he's uh, he likes to chase her around and she likes to chase him around and boss him around. So, he's got a little girlfriend, so I got to keep an eye on that one. <laughs> and uh, what else? I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. Anyway, like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it there for now. If I think of something, I'll bring it right back on around. That, that sounds like a plan, <laughs> sir. Sounds like a plan. We've got plenty of time to talk about it. So. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> How about you, Lady Kay? Let's talk uh, a little bit about you. Ready. Well, for those who don't know, they call me Lady K on this show. I've got a million other shows, so I got a lot of other, <laughs> other titles as well. But I am the CEO and founder of the Women's Small Business Initiative. Um, I am also the owner and founder of this wonderful uh, podcast show called Your Resource for Success Podcast. I am also an author, and I am the founder of Author Kimberly and Macklemore LLC. I am also the owner of Vigilant Broadcasting and uh, co-founder of Talk Radio and TV Network LLC. LP. And um, I guess that's all the other, I guess that's all that I have. I, I, I can't think of anything else <laughs> to talk about besides <laughs> the fact that I am extremely busy. It's been a phenomenal year so far. Um, I just came back from Atlanta 
um, just, you know, from on Monday. So that was a wonderful event back at the Madhu Bookstore. I'm really excited about that opportunity because I will be going back in uh, September. So um, got a lot of great things going on in the month of September. So I'm going to keep that one a little close held for now, close hold. And then and I'll talk more about that later um, as we get a little bit closer to uh, the event. But we have some other great things we are going to talk about the, tonight. And our big topic, which I'm going to let you do the, the honors because, you know, Mr. Q was on it this week. He was like, I got it. I got the yeah. show topic. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm excited about this show topic and I'm going to let you introduce it and then we'll have a great discussion before we jump into our spring fashions and then we'll jump into more events. And then, of course, we'll talk about our moment of inspiration. All right. Well, thank you very much, Lady K. I appreciate you <laughs> kicking it over to me. Oh, I always. You know, I love you. Know, I love you. <laughs> Got to share the wealth, right? <laughs> indeed. Indeed. All right. So our topic for tonight, ladies and gentlemen, drum roll, please, is springing forward after a winter of hibernation. Oh, uh, okay. And there has been a lot of hibernation going on. Yes. yes. And winter just doesn't seem like it. For, I don't know about everybody else in the world, but here in the DMV, the winter just doesn't want to like let go. It's like winter will, it'll snow. Literally, folks, it will snow on like a Thursday, maybe even a Friday. And then Saturday will we'll be 75 degrees. Yeah. So we have snow one day and we, so we have winter one day and then summer the next. Um, right. The, the teasers as we call them, right. You know, it, it's, it's crazy and your body can't get used to anything, but you know, I really try not to complain too much because other areas have definitely been getting hit much harder than us. So I'm appreciative of, you know, having the simple stuff, not, not, nothing too crazy. So. Right. Well, yeah. me too. I have to, I have to take it with a grain of salt. Like, Oh, it could be worse, mm -hmm. but my body mm -hmm. don't like that back and forth. Let it be cold or right. let it be hot or, or warm or whatever. But um, the weather really doesn't have a lot to do with uh, our show topic for tonight as <laughs> much as it's kind of like our tagline, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, so um, springing forward after winter of hibernation, um, that was born in thinking about number one. We're now in officially in spring, right? Um, so it's like, oh, it's springtime, and you know, when we think about spring, we think about rebirth and regrowth and you know, renewal, especially. And uh, you know, in the spring time, it's kind of like the beginning of the year when everyone's hopeful on the first and second up to like the fifth day of the new year. Like, oh, I'm going to do all these wonderful things <laughs> right. in the new year. And then they slide right back into the exactly. old habits and those New Year's resolutions go away. The spring is like spring is like the season that does that as well for all of us, like collectively. And we go into this place where we are like, oh, the weather's warming up and we start feeling good. And I don't want to give too much away like with fashion tips, but the clothes start sliding off a little bit and we start mm -hmm. showing a little bit more skin and getting a little bit more comfortable with just being out and about and looking forward to it. And um, it's also a time that can be a very, very busy season if you've, in essence, started planting your seeds back in the winter. Mm -hmm. If you started really doing the work, because a lot of times in the winter, people want to just go home, not do anything, just hibernate. Right. So they just want to stay in their bubble, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> they want to stay in their bubble and just wait until it's warm enough to go out and do something, something different. And so... Um, and thinking about the show topic, I was really thinking about how it's important for those of us who are making moves, those of us who are committed to our goals at the beginning of the year, how do we spring forward out of that winter, hi that winter hibernation mm -hmm. into keeping our, 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 our momentum going? So, and like I said, this is a very, very busy time of year. Um, that's when we have lots of festivals and stuff like that. So, you know, that's kind of where I was going. So, I mean, I can talk a little bit more about it, but I would love to hear your thoughts. What do you think? Yeah. And, and you're right. I mean, it's spring forward, you know, we just did that what a couple of weeks ago and it's felt, and it felt like it was 
the hardest thing to do. It's funny how we have that one hour in our life that seems like it's for for never, you know, forever ending. Everybody's all like, you know, I can't do this and I can't do that because oh, the hour, you know, just changed my life forever. So I, when I think about that hour, just that one hour of your life changing, that means how does that affect your life? On the other end, you know, like you were talking a little bit about the fact that we have all this uh, this newness going on in our lives. And when it comes to being spring, everybody wants to change their agenda for that particular period in time of their life in that moment. But if it's if it affects you in such a negative way because the time moves forward, how is it going to affect you uh, for growing and the changes that you're going to have in your life? during the springtime and throughout the rest of the year, right? Mm -hmm. So we all know we all know a new year means new supposed to be new growth, new meaning, new um things that you want to do that you've been waiting to do and haven't done it yet. Well now you have another opportunity in spring mm -hmm. to clean and sweep away some of those things you still got on the shelf, so to speak, that you're still hanging on to. You have not decided how to move forward and now is the opportunity to move forward. Um, so it's like it, it, it's such a great concept and a great topic because I think that every day you almost you, you almost need to go back and just review your day to decide whether or not you are actually meeting the goals that you want to meet and decide if you really are prepared to, as I call this in this new year, um, leveling it up, um, making big, bold moves. And, you know, you and I have talked a lot about that because in our personal and in our professional lives, we are made big moves this year. And um, it affects us in a lot of different ways. And, you know, and so I think that with this new season of growth coming, and like you said, it's so unbalanced. So we have to make it balanced. We, uh, you know, with the weather not kind of being crazy, you should not let those things affect you from wanting to move forward, do something positive with your life and, um, you know, make positive change. So, yeah, I, you know, I think the spring forward after winter of hibernation, we are definitely looking forward to it. If we can get the winter piece to just kind of move itself out the door. <laughs> I, mean, I, I don't know what happened to the little animal, that little animal. That the, the, the groundhog. The groundhog. But the groundhog. Oh, ground, groundhog oh, okay. piece. His name? Groundhog piece. I, I don't know what his name is, but he was wrong. Okay. Every year he is wrong. Every year he's wrong. 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 So, right. So, if you're living off the groundhog and thinking that's going to help you change your life, you're wrong. You need to you need to quit being the groundhog and you need to make some of your own uh, changes and realize that those changes are all for the positive. Um, and I think that that would help everybody move forward in, in their own way and doing what they need to do. Because like I said, we started out in January. Here we already are in March. And before you know it, uh, the spring will be over with the summer is coming, the fall and the end of the year. So, you know, get your goals set. Um, make things, make the changes you want to make. Stop allowing people to con to conform you and tell you what you have to do. Do what you feel that you think is right for you. Um, I think that is the best best medicine in the world to live by or, and take uh, is to take your own advice sometimes. Right. That's right. And also, um, just like with um, the the the, the, the um, winter, winter to spring analogy of shedding layers, mm. you know. I hate to use this as a specific example, but like think about a snake. You're, you're right, though. And, and how, you know, and think of winter as you have this skin or I guess reptiles in general, how they, how they shed their skin. Mm -hmm. So spring is time for us to shed our skin. And we start shedding those layers off, you know, those heavy layers of the heavy clothing. And also the, whatever heavy ideas and ideals that surrounded us. From the winter that you know still lagged on even though we went through you know the first of the year with our mm -hmm. new year's resolutions it's time to time to kind of as we talked about we kind of it's time to reassess where we are Absolutely. and like oh let me get rid of this i can still get rid of this you still got time the year is still young uh, we're just getting into spring and so it's a new opportunity to move into a new phase of your existence i know when i teach my classes every season i change my warm-up and my cool down songs and mm -hmm. so it's because I, I don't want everybody to get too comfortable. It's time to change it back up again. So it's like, oh, right. it's time for a right. new one. Right. So, and, but, yeah. but, you know, when you said just what that analogy that you're using, when you think about it, though, every day we have new layers of skin that come off our bodies, right? Mm -hmm. Every mm -hmm. time you 
uh, you know, clean yourself, you see something new, you know, you'll feel like it's like when you're healing, a scab will come on, right? And that scab, seeing those layers keep coming off in order for you to heal, in order for you to grow. So it should be the same analogy that you use in your life and, and how you go back, like you said, and reanalyze all the things that are going on with you. And if it doesn't feel right, then that means it's time to make a change. That's right. That's right. That's right. You said it better myself. <laughs> I like it. Bam. Well, I appreciate that, okay? <laughs> Not appreciate, but I appreciate it. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yes. Nothing, nothing like good change and, you know, like I said, great opportunities. The world is full of them. And, you know, this is, like I said, a wonderful topic to talk about because I think a lot of people are constantly being stagnant in their lives. And, you know, we see it every day on our jobs. We see it, um, like I said, within our own personal lives that we, we think about the things we want to do, but do you really actually get up and do them? Uh, you know, and so we're here to push people along and give them that positive uh that they need to have and, and realize that life is really what you make of it. Exactly. Every step, every day, every way. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. I like that. Every step, every day. OK, go on ahead. All <laughs> right. Know, off the cuff, off the cuff. Hey, well, you know, that's what we're about. Everything we do is off the cuff. Our show is about truly inspiring others to do what they need to do, you know, and, and believe in themselves and realize that what we are talking about, obviously, are our, is our opinion. But a lot of times, you know, what we are talking about is nothing that people don't already know. But it takes sometimes that push in order to make people, like I said, get off that fence you know, mm -hmm. jump off the ledge and live a little bit, you know, learn to soar, you know, stop real thinking that you have to follow what everybody else tells you to do. But at the same time, uh, like I so said, go back in and reanalyze what it is that you want and let start getting those layers off of your skin so you can stop itching and scratching. <laughs> Which is why Pepper is going to see the, the groomer because he's been <laughs> running all over the carpet, sliding into it. I'm like, oh. Yeah, so, so he so even knows. He even knows. He's like, look, you need to hurry him to take care of me, okay? Right? 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 He's like, it's springtime. I need my spring cut. Exactly. Uh. Exactly. All right. So we just talked about a great topic here this evening called Spring and Forward. Um, after a winter of hibernation, how do you prepare for a new season of growth? I think you provided some phenomenal, um, as usual, great insight insight to what it really means to you and, and how we can help others and how people can think about what they need to do. But now that we've done that, we've done that on the personal side. So let's talk a little bit about the spring fashion tips, because I know you got some great ones. I love it. Love I it. do. And they're actually really easy stuff, really easy things that people do. Um, one of them is kind of new because people associate it with summer. So we're talking about shedding off layers. Mm -hmm. So I want to start with what was actually at the end of my talk, but we ended up talking about layers. So when you think about layers, we take the pants off. And what do we put on? Shorts. Yes. Yeah. So shorts are back. Now, for the fellas, we probably will wait until it's like summertime before we start wearing shorts. But ladies, you can go ahead and start rocking them now. Some of y'all might be already. Some of y'all might have had them on this past weekend. I'm not talking about shorts you wear to the gym. That's a whole different kind of short. That's athletic wear. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the shorts with the pleats. Or the nice sharp crease in the colors, like a royal blue or a kelly green. Um, ironically, uh, with some of the things I've seen on on, on the um, as far on the fashion channels that I've been paying attention to, mm -hmm. not seeing a lot of florals. Usually, they want to go floral and pastel, mm -hmm. um, like shorts and nice bold colors, but primary colors. Also, tie dye is in. So for the hippies from the sixties. If you want okay. to go into the age of Aquarius, oh, uh -oh. bring out some, some of that tie-dye. Grab your, I mean, you can do tie-dye in your house. You grab a t-shirt, a white one, and tie it up and make, some, make your own and maybe cut it up. Um, and um, one thing for that's usually associated with summer, more, um, what is it called? Sun, sunshine shades. So I have to say that really slowly. Um, but we think about like the golds and the burgundies mm -hmm. and the maroons and the burnt oranges and those really rich colors that we actually associate associate with fall. Right, we do. Mm -hmm. Or 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 um, summertime when there's a nice sunset. For spring, well, those colors are are appropriate. You know, get you a nice like maroon top and some burnt orange, like like 
loose fitting pants that are flowing and a straw hat and a nice bag. Oh, just that. All right, that's the outfit. I love it. Love and, if, and, and if you decide to wear that outfit, listeners, make sure you you, you do hashtag Lady K Mr. T because you heard it here first. Exactly. We that's right. We want the credit for. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> for great ideas though, just joking. But no, you're right. I mean, it, it's. I love how the different colors are actually being utilized, not just as only a part of the year, but actually all through the year, just like even our uh, the color white, it surprises me how many people actually wore a lot of the white during the winter time, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, white was used to be, oh, oh it was a no-no thing. You don't wear white in the winter time. Now it is the thing to do, you know, so it's all about, and then again, it goes right back to what I always talk about conformity. You know, we're told mm -hmm. that you can't wear this, you can't do this, you can't do that. But we all realize that you can because it's about your comfort zone. It's about, you know, wearing what makes you feel good. And that's what life is about. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. Well, I just love your great spring fashion tips. So thank you again, Mr. T, for all those wonderful tips. The next time we do our show and we talk about fashion, tips, you're going to have to bring bring us some uh, beautiful uh, pictures so we can. You know, put oh yes, yeah, because I can. You know, graphics. we can bring the graphics out and and really show people exactly how to put those pieces together. Well, let's do it. Let's do oh, it. Righty then. Oh, I was feeling right. I was feeling extra special with the day. I did. I took the ring off. I had a nice ring. I was wearing blue today. Uh huh. So I was a uh, blue blue jeans. I had a nice blue, purple and yellow graphic sock on and uh -oh. I saw a ring in my in my closet when I was getting mm -hmm. dressed and mm -hmm. it's got these little blue like diamond-esque studs all over it and I said I'm gonna put that on where that to work oh. and everybody was like oh look at you being fancy I, thought I was feeling special today that was, days. that's because you are special baby <laughs> you are special but I was feeling it I was feeling yeah yeah you know I was you feeling sparkly out. for sparkly uh -huh. for spring sparkly for spring <laughs> I don't know why I decided to uh, show that. <laughs> but you know, but it's true. It's like normally what we wear, every, even when we have a fresh haircut, or you know, a new do, fresh make, everything that we do to ourselves makes us feel more comfortable about who we are and what we're doing. But it's about you. It's not about what anybody else thinks or cares about. It's the fact that when you walked out that door today, you said, you know what? I am feeling it and I am going to show it. Right? Yeah, everybody know. That's right. And they seen it too. They seen that shine. They seen that halo coming over your head. Ooh, you started bright today. Like, like here, here you come. Here exactly. You come. Exactly. But hey, that's what spring is all about. That's what we talked about. Growth, sharing, moving forward, doing things that you want to do. So now let's jump right into our upcoming events. We've got some great events coming up this weekend. So why don't you go right on ahead and share those events? Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Well, I'm going to do them in, I'm going to do them backward. So um, the first event that, I, uh, that I'm ending with, which is my third event, is actually happening on Monday, the 25th, here in the DMV. It's happening at Gold's Gym Elite Training Center in, Mar in Marumsco Plaza in Woodbridge, Virginia. It's an open house event. It's going to be awesome. I'm actually coming out of the Cycle Studio. I normally teach at Cycle on, on Mondays at 7 o'clock. I have somebody covering that class. I'm going to be in the main room with the regular the regular instructor for the Zumba class. Her name is Dominique. And we are going to be doing an open house Zumba jam party. And there's going to be a live DJ. Live uh, DJ uh, J World is his name. So we're going to have wow. a live DJ on the set. We're going to have snacks and some other fun things going on. And of course, there'll be membership specials. The party starts at 7 o'clock. So if you're in the DMV, you'll want to come to Gold's Gym Elite Training Center in Whitbridge, Virginia. Um, once again, it's at, um, in Marumsco Plaza. And we start at 7 o'clock. We'll be running until about 8 or a little bit past. But we have some fun things going on. Open house is free and open to everyone. So you can come on and have a good time. Also, on Saturday, which is the 23rd of March... Um, a good friend of mine, her, her AKA is Mission Delicious. That tells you everything you need to know. <laughs> anyway, her name is Tiffany. Her name is Tiffany, and she's having a master class. Uh, it's a dance fitness program called Mixed Fit. Um, she's actually um, a master trainer for our area, and she's an awesome, awesome person. And she's having uh, once again a master class. It's a proud to be me master class. It starts at eleven a.m. Um, on Saturday, the 23rd, it'll be about 75 minutes. Uh, proceeds will go to the 
NEDA for the National Eating Disorder Association. Um, it's to bring awareness to negative body image issues for people of all genders, aces, races, religions, ethnicities, and sexual orientations who, who all can, can be affected by, like, you think about body, body dysmorphia. And right. the cost is $8. It is at um, 24 Hour Fitness in Falls Church, uh, Virginia, at uh, 1000 East Broad Street, Falls Church, Virginia, 22042. Once again, 24 Hour Fitness, Falls Church, Virginia, 1000 East Broad Street, Falls Church, Virginia, 22042 for $8. And wrapping it up, one last thing. Uh, tomorrow, I will be at the Boys of Spring Zumba party. We are launching a awesome 90 minute yes. Zumba party. Um, last year we did Boys of Summer. This year we're doing Boys of Spring. I got a couple, I got a different boy in the mix this time. Uh, it's myself, a gentleman named Chico Chewy of Mr. Dog Care, um, and uh, a, a new Zumba instructor in, in the, the yeah. community. His name is Nick. He's 16 and he's ready to party with y'all. The cost is $6. It's at Ghost Gym Lorton in Lorton, Virginia uh, at 7700 uh Gunston Plaza and Gunston Plaza in Lorton, Virginia. So, and it's, uh, once again, it's 90 minutes. We're going to have an awesome time. So, we have four awesome local male instructors coming at you for six bucks, and I will be there. Woo! So, if you want to come see me, come see me. It's a chance to see me and three other really awesome instructors. So, that's what I got going on in the dance fitness world this, this weekend. How about you, Lady K? Wow. Well, this weekend, I actually have a little bit of break. So this is great. So I will definitely be hanging out with you all tomorrow night. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I, uh, every one of those gentlemen that can be up on the stage are going to be phenomenal. So I'm excited about, you know, hanging out with you guys and, you know, getting our groove on because that's the only time I get to have to dance anymore is when I'm in my Zuma class, right? <laughs> <laughs> and we can let it go, right? So anyway, so yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to that tomorrow night. But for me, the got quite a few things working in the background. Um, got a lot of um, great interviews that will be coming out soon that people will get the opportunity to see and hear. And then, of course, I've got a um, self-publishing workshop coming up in uh, August. I'm going back to Eastern Pennsylvania, so I'm excited about that. I'm going to be uh, hanging out with uh, Christy uh, Joy, and uh, she is the owner of Joyful Self um Center and then she all and then also I'm going to be hanging out with Wanda Kane who is a new owner of an, a networking empowerment. So we're going to have a brunch mixed in with the self publishing workshop and have some new speakers. So we're really excited about this new collaboration. And so we'll be doing that in August. So you will be hearing more information on that coming out. And then of course uh, we'll be back uh, in September. I'll be going back to Atlanta and be doing. Um, the Madu Bookstore signing again and two more locations. So those locations you guys will learn more about later. So I will have a huge book signing in one full weekend and I will be giving you guys more information on that as it gets closer, uh, probably within the next month or so. Also, I have uh, some other great things working in the background that so you guys keep your eyes open. I'm not going to tell you what they are right now because otherwise it ruins the surprise. <laughs> And believe me, it is going to be big. Got a lot of got a new, new book I'm going to be working on soon. Got some other things going on, but I really just kind of want to keep them close hold because I'm just really excited about what is um, moving forward and you know and the things that the changes that I'm making with the with all my businesses. So it's just been it's been a, a really great start of the year. And like I said, I just came from uh, Atlanta. That was a phenomenal event. So I'm looking forward to hanging out again with uh, Miss uh, Nia Dahali. Uh, she is just a phenomenal person. And uh, so, hey, that's about it. So like I said, I'm looking forward to tomorrow night. So before we close out our show this evening, we have at least we got to give that moment of inspiration. So what is inspiring? You know, we have people who are going through some really rough patches. Our, it seems like our whole world is kind of at a... Um, at a change and at an awe, you know, there's so many different negative things that are going on and it breaks my heart because it seems like every day we don't get a break. It's always consistently negative. And so, you know, it was funny. I was talking to one of my coworkers the other day and I was saying, you know, where can we find some news or hear about news where it's all positive? And it was so ironic that I happened to open up MSN.com um, actually has a section called good news. 
and oh. everything on the section is when I say it's all good news, it's so warm and loving that if I kept reading what I was reading, you'd have been sitting there watching me with tears rolling down my face oh. because there was so many great new stories that you could share and talk about and and, and, it, and it brightened the rest of my day because you know it gets so tired of turning on the TV and all we hear is negative. Negative, negative, negative. I don't want to hear about Twitter anymore. I don't want to hear about, you know, all these things going on. So this portion of our show is really about inspiring others to get through. When you need a hug, you can't get it. We're going to give you that hug. Um, And we hope that what we talk about in this moment of inspiration will inspire you for the rest of the night and the rest of the week. So what are we going to be inspiring about tonight? All right. Well, um, every Thursday, which is wonderful that our topic coincided with my Thoughtful Thursdays with T. If you haven't seen, been on Facebook, well, excuse me, on Facebook and Instagram to follow Move with T, you, you should, uh, because uh, I do have Thoughtful Thursdays with T. And uh, my, motiv- my motivational quote for today, or one of them, actually is this. More than a season, spring is a state of mind. So you can think about springing forward into spring and all the wonderful things that go with it. And we talked about rebirth and renewal and regrowth and essentially retooling your way of thinking so you can move forward into the rest of the rest of the year and be more successful, be more proactive, be more involved, um, and actually... All right, we had a quick hiccup there, so we are going to continue on on here in a second. We just want to get through our last portion of the evening, which is moment of inspiration. We're going to get T back on in a second. T is reconnecting, so everyone just sit there patiently. And like I said, I'll talk a little bit more about what we have going on um, within our uh, communities and all the other events we have coming up. So here we go. I'm going to bring him right back right now. And T is going to be on in two seconds. All right. Hey, Internet. Yay, there I am. Hey. I love technology, right? <laughs> well, hey, hey, we just said we're live. Are we live? We live. We are live. And this is what happens because it is what it is, right? I mean, the... And I'm actually surprised that it has lasted this long with the, all the, the crazy weather we've had today with all the rain. So uh, so as you were talking, we were talking about the moment of inspiration and how you have these the inspirational things every Thursday. So why don't you go ahead and give that? Yes. So um, as I was as I was saying, every um, well, like I said, number one, if you're not following Move with T on Instagram and Facebook, you should be. Look for M O V E W I T H T E E. LLC on Facebook and Instagram. Ha ha. Shameless plug. Um, anyway, <laughs> um, every Thursday, um, I do a Thoughtful Thursdays with T. So um, last year, I kind of, last week, I kind of skipped out on it, but, uh, but every Thursday, it pretty much comes, it comes out every Thursday. And so this week was all about our show topic. It really coincided with what our show topic was. So this week, the one of the quotes that I shared with all of my viewers is more than a season spring is a state of mind. Mm. So with that and in, in thinking about it, spring is the time for us to, as we've talked about, to renew, to renew, regrow, rebirth, and even retool our thinking and shed some of what we used to think about and shed all of those 
negative things that we had going on with us back in the winter or just anything that's heavy that we need to put down. It's time to let, let, let that heavy coat go, hang it up and be ready to move into spring with a, a better state of mind, a better thought toward working towards your goals, more action toward working towards your goals. So you can move through the rest of the year. And when you get to spring next year, you can think about how successful you were. And then you'll see all your flowers blooming. Oh, you like my little graphic. I there. love it. Love, love, love the fingers. <laughs> love the finger. It reminds me. Spirit it was, fingers. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're ready to say that. It reminds me of spirit fingers from that crazy, <laughs> crazy movie. But yes, <laughs> perfect. Love the moment of inspiration. Uh, you always have something. I love how you tie everything together and you really do think about the process of what it means to grow in. You know, like I said, let things go, shut off the old, bring in the new, continue to allow yourself to be what you want to be and who you want to be, because that's where you're going to be the happiest within, within yourself and your life. And I think that's wonderful. So we have truly come to the end of our show. And we want to first say thank you all for hanging out with us. And sorry about the technical glitches this evening. And but, you know, hey, it comes with it. It's part of the process. But we're here. Everything worked out. OK. And so, you know. We always have to say goodbye, you know, we have to always have to let it go. But, you know, T, it's always a pleasure to hang out with you. And, I, you know, I love spending time with you, right? Yeah, and I love spending time with you, Lady K. Always a pleasure. I uh, know. So I'm next, definitely looking forward to tomorrow because next week I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be on the road again. So I'm not going to get to enjoy Monday. So you guys are going to have to, Monday, I'm going to miss Monday, Wednesday, and possibly Friday because I, oh. I don't tell you where I'm going because it's, Gonna take me forever to get back home. <laughs> so, and I'll be gone the next week. I'll be gone the following That's week. right. That's all. See, that's just actually not it's perfect that we don't have a show that week because that would be awesome to be live from London. London. Mm. We, mm, well, man, hey. see if you had told me, I, we might have had to rearrange some things. But right, right. Well, but, I, had to, I had to keep something to myself. You know, Grandma I, always said you gotta keep something to yourself. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, down the <laughs> but anyway, so we, like I said, we had a great show tonight and we will be back next month in April uh, for another great special edition of uh, The Moments with Lady K and Mr. T. We will be back on April the 11th. So make sure you mark that on your calendars. And also we've been talking about that soon we will become a full show. So, you know, we will keep you all and um, informed about when that is going to happen. So keep your eyes and your ears open because it, it will be coming soon. As well as um, we really want everybody to be more involved, ask us questions, get on, we're live. You know, this is a great opportunity to do that. So, you know, that's what we're here for. It's not just always about our opinion, but it's about sharing what we feel is going to inspire you and get you through your day. And of course, get you through the rest of your week, right? That's right. All right. So, again, I do appreciate you all hanging out with us this evening. We have come to the end of our show. Do you have any last words, sir? No, just go out there and shed some skin. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we are definitely finished with our show. We'll be back. And again, like I said, our w this show here, Lady Canvas, Lady Canvassy, will be back in April. But Tune back in next week for another great show of sharing stories right here with WSBI, your resource for success podcast. I am your host again, Kimberly McLemore. Again, thank you, my dear darling. Thank Always you. a pleasure. And good night. We'll see you next week. Good night, everyone. We will be back next Thursday evening at 7 p.m. Follow us on Spreaker, www.spreaker.com slash user slash WSBI. View our new WSBI website anytime at www.wsbillc.com. And on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Instagram. <laughs>